Dr. Lepisto, what predisposes a person toward fibromyalgia? Well, first of all, we want to look at a genetic predisposition. Mm -hmm. And the short answer to this story is that everyone's predisposed to something. Okay. In other words, some people have heart disease in their family, uh, heart disease in their family, they have diabetes, mm -hmm. they have alcoholism. Some people are more susceptible to chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia just by their particular constitutions. So knowing what is your family history, mm -hmm. uh, for example, autoimmune disease family history is predisposes people to fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue or a history of known chronic fatigue, etc. It's the genetics that you've been given. Whether or not it manifests as a full-blown disease condition is depending on how somebody takes care of themselves and other predisposing factors. For example, there is almost always a common thread of a traumatic injury or trauma oh, yes. of some kind. Yes, that is common, isn't it? Yes, and that's sort of like the straw that ends up breaking the camel's back. In that regards, quite often it's the, it's the, the piece that pushes somebody through into a full-blown condition of chronic fatigue. Because I had a whiplash injury when I was a teenager, yes. an automobile accident that was never treated. Right. And I was told by the physician that that was the reason, the underlying right. cause of it. Yes. But I don't think you know a there's total more. Picture. There's more to the picture. That's than that. right. And that's where the whole picture becomes important. There can also be a viral or bacterial or chronic illness picture. Somebody may have been fighting a particular um, infection for some time. Mm -hmm. There is also this toxic picture. And that, that may be a full barrel, so to speak, of toxins from the environment. Quite often, uh, pesticide, chemical, solvent, paint, stains, some kind of uh, okay. overburden in the system, a toxic burden mm -hmm. that can predispose somebody also. All right, well, thank you very much for that information. You're welcome.